What is going on, everyone? My goodness gracious. Oh my god. We're starting off well. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Bjorn knows I have treats on my desk, so he's gonna he's gonna go bonkers. And that's just expected. We're just gonna have to deal with it, you know? How is everyone doing though? The Friday night extravaganza. Bjorn, what are you doing? Stop. No! You're gonna press buttons and you're gonna do something bad. Stop. No. No, Bjorn. I gotta turn this down. It's too loud, Bjorn. It's still a little loud. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, hopefully that's not too bad. Do, do. I got a new album. Okay, so as you can see... It's not looking good for me right now. If you can if you can just see up in the top right here, it says I have $8,290. That's not a lot. Why would I leave myself $8,290? I don't have a license for today. And how much is a license? $8,000. That would leave me with $290. And I was thinking in my brain, I was like, why did I leave myself in this position? It's so stupid. And then I looked at my inventory and I have an entire fish keeper full of fish with not not full but three thirteen thousand dollars worth of fish <clears throat> so big brain big brain right bjorn huh do you want you want something want something whoa oh okay you can have some oh you can have some what are you doing <laughs> yep cool cool okay all right that was short-lived and it's gone well who all do we have here frontier fishing jonathan castro smash to trash outdoors with jb Braden fisher ethan sharp tyler fishing colby whiteman josh newell and jacob smith well hello everyone i went to white moose yesterday and my rod broke because i used too heavy of a lure and was stranded with 26 dollars Luckily, I had a bottom and floor rod, so I bought a new rod. $9,500. Well, right on, man. Well done. You thought about it. You figured it out. Big brain. Yo, BZ, what is up? Cameron Reddick. How is it going? How is it going, man? So, uh, what we're going to do right now, I'm thinking anyway, let's, um... Strongly advised to get one. I think we're going to be... I'm not going to catch any fish. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna change the time, and then and then after that, because if I would have bought the license, then I would have been left with two hundred and ninety dollars, which wouldn't have been able to move us to the next day. So it was important that we move to the next day right now. Let's uh switch to eight eight a.m. I think. Oh, I don't know if we can switch to eight a.m. I have to switch to. Hello, hello, Poppy. Extend that. 13,000 in the bag. Oh, it's a raining today. Um, now, now that we have $19,000, we can buy a license. And we have 11,000 left over. And as you can see here, new rod. I got a 33 pound Vortex 7000 bait casting rod and a 8 to 35 Galaxy Quest 511 rod as well so big big fish big fish stuff there and could be good there let's see we have one large minnow left which isn't great Bjorn you're gonna have to calm down there bud yeah this is supposed to it's supposed to last us the whole stream yeah so calm down you'll get treats periodically understand goodness gracious who else has dogs at home that go crazy, huh? Who else? There's a level three pronghorn right in front of you. Well, go ahead and get it and then look for a level five, man. Okay, good, good, good. So we're here, we're here, we're, we're clear. Um, so yeah, I got the, I got the new rod I was telling you about. We'll throw these out right now and see. I've had a bad week, my dog died. Oh, that sucks, Jacob. It really sucks. Um, yeah, gosh dang, dude. 
Hope you're doing okay, though. Cameron Reddick is doing okay. That's good. Only 22 people. Hey, it's a Friday night. People are out doing things. Only a loser would be sitting at home playing a game with a bunch of friends, right? Losers. <laughs> Anywho. Two crashes in Call of the Wild. Well, that's not too bad, eh? Not too bad at all. So, uh, I got this new rod. We'll try it out here. I can't cast very far due to the short rod, but it's a strong rod. And, uh, does the trick. It's got a 6 odd hook jerk bait as well. So. Oh, having a nibble on the bait caster. And we got a shell. Woo! First fish. First fish. First fish is a monster. Big K. Deadshot420, how's it going, man? Yo, what's up, Bo Baja Blast? Man, we're fishing. We're fishing in St. Croix. It's a very cloudy, rainy day. Unlike it was in Kansas, because it was a beauty in Kansas, bro. It was like low 70s, high 60s the entire day. It was absolutely stunning. Zach and I finished up some stuff and we played some golf. It was great. It was a great day. We had like 61 stream like a week or two ago. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't two months ago or something like that, and we were averaging like 80 people a stream. I, I don't know where everyone went. I guess back to school, maybe? I don't know. Not that it matters. You know, I honestly don't know. I didn't even know that I was going to have a stream tonight, and then my uh, fiance fell asleep, so I was like, whatever. Yes, I'll stream. <laughs> So, I have no idea. Only level 12? Hey, gotta start somewhere. I was level 12 at one point. So, don't you worry about that. Where is a good place to go on SRP? Oh, there's plenty of good places to go. Um, go to the far right and just travel in that open meadow. I like the open meadow. There's all sorts of stuff. Black bear, elk, pronghorn, um, bison... Mule deer, all sorts of stuff. Ooh, darn it, got a snow again. God, this bottom. They are feeding off the bottom right now. Might have to increase the length of my leader. <sighs> Corrupted file on Call of the Wild. Oh no! Corrupted file, no! Oh god, we have a we have a fish on both of our rods now. See if we can muscle this fish in real quick and then get back to that other rod. Switch my account. I was Joshua Newell. Ah, okay, Joshua Newell. I see you, bro. Come on, get it in. There we go. Okay, go faster, please. You should get that Cyclops fish taxidermized. <laughs> Man, if it was bigger, maybe. I don't know. This little eight pound carp with one eye. You know, the thing with most taxidermy is that you only do see one eye most of the time anyway. <laughs> if it's going on a wall, you know. Frontier Fishing says I just hit level 30, so I'm trying to get to St. Croix, but I don't know if I'm ready. What level do you do to start fishing? Easy, because I see you're level 40. Yeah, I mean, with St. Croix specifically, you need to take advantage, full advan advantage, advantage of uh, the bottom feeding rods. And, uh, you know, if you've got it, you know, a float rod would work too. But basically, just having a strong rod to put bait on there to get a good size fish. Um, like this trophy, trophy Northern Pike, it's 19 pounds. So if you can get, uh, you know, a bottom rod or, um, hi, hi, you're so happy. Um, a bottom rod or a float rod that gets 25 pounds of, uh, a pole on it, drag or whatever, then, then you should be pretty well set. Um, yeah, hi, hi, let me give you a treat. Oh, yeah. Oh, hit it, bite it. Oh, that's slobber. 
Um, but yeah, it's important that you have some pretty strong rods. Otherwise, you can't get the full effect of, of St. Croix. And you'd be better off just enjoying White Moose or something like that if, if you're a lower level and you don't have these big rods. Because um, only using a bait caster or a spin casting rod or a spinning rod is, isn't taking full advantage of it. Nine or 18 holes, what score did you get? You know, we started off with nine and we ended up skipping a hole just because like, you know, you just get those holes where like a guy's like right up behind you and you're just like out of whack and you hit it into the sand and then you hit that out of the sand into another sand and then you're just like, you know what, forget this hole. I'm just going to forget that I ever played this hole and you end up skipping it and everything. So we skipped a hole and moved on and then, uh, and then it started getting dark and we played a couple on the back nine, but didn't finish it um so we have no idea what the score was <laughs> i hear i hear zach anywho timothy descato did you miss anything not a whole lot man we, we're just catching fish one after another and bjorn's going crazy for these treats smash the trash where's squish and beyond i don't know friday night they're probably out being crazy you know but was gaining subs faster now. He almost has 8, 8k. I know. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Pretty cool though. I'm still, I'm still got my fingers crossed. 10k by, uh, by the holiday season. If I could get to 10k before Christmas comes, that would be fantastic. And then I'll be able to give out T-shirts to everyone. Not everyone, but you know, a fair amount of people. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one on the lure here. Bottom sniper, but I don't know if I'm high enough level. I'm catching pike at white moose right now. Yeah, catching pike at white moose is fantastic frontier. That's a great way to make some money because the pike just pays so well. And you really got to take advantage of it. Well, we're getting lots of water lilies. Don Marco last night caught my first five pound flathead. Woo, that's pretty cool, man. Oh, no, never mind. Calm down, though. No. But like the other day, what's going on here? After dog in here? You bet I did. Gotta have a piece of hair just like sticking out. <laughs> What's popping? What's popping, Mary? Brand new whip, just copped it. Just copped it. How's your day been, everyone? Not too bad. Not too bad, Brayden. Matt is here. How's it going, Matt? Ryan, while watching, also you make more a fish than me, a whole fish for thing. Oh, God. <laughs> It's, a, it's always how it starts, man. David Probus is here. How's it going, David? Anyone have any thoughts on the new Black Ops? Haven't played it, but I know it's on PS4 for free. It's on PS4 for free. What is his deal? I don't know. He's going crazy. There's, he knows there's treats up here. Oh, that's it. He knows there's treats up here. I'll catch, I'll catch any remains. I'm not even like this is all him. Hi, what are you doing? Just really what he sees those last two treats and he's like, I really want them. I said periodically. You will get them periodically. A jingle bell. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Wait, wait, why don't you it's switching to the other pole? I wanna put out a bobber first. Oh. Just being smart, bro. What's your PB water lily? That's a good question, man. <laughs> oh, you look burnt. Do I look burnt? Tastes a little bit red. Tastes a little bit red. We went golfing. Yeah, we did. I was telling him about it. Thanks to Wrath. Big donation. Yeah? Is that why we went? I miss Wrath. Where is he? I don't know what happened to Wrath. Wrath's just gone. Oh, wait. Do we have... We had another fish on this one. Jeez Louise. Oh, whoa, 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 he's gonna knock your hey, over. Hey, stop. Get down. 
Go. Get down. Get down. Why are you being such a pain right hey. now? Yeah. Snikey. Snikey. You snikey, eh? Hey? Zach looks like a pro golfer right now. Who said that? Uh, Tantan that said that. Bam, bam. All hail the king, pro says. <laughs> So does, true. Does it sound different when I use it from this side versus this side? It should. It should. It's a directional. Oh god. One, two, three, like a bird I see. <laughs> caught your PB musky in real life. Well, that's pretty awesome, man. I've never caught a musky King Jarzard, so that's really cool. Which one makes me sound more pretty? Bjorn doing ASMR. I'd rather get paid to do ASMR. There are some, uh, it is pretty crazy. I've, I've clicked on some Base ASMRs on and I just side. don't know how they're successful. Drop the bass. Boo, boo. It's Ethan. How's it going? It's Ethan and Redneck YouTube. How's it going? It would be crazy if we hit AK this stream. Oh, that yeah. would be crazy since we're at 7.9 right now. <laughs> we would need to get 100 subscribers in this stream. Easy. <laughs> Easy cash money. Easy cash AK. money. So two of them to come follow me on Twitch. Oh, okay. Water lily. This is that's uh, my PB. My PB water lily. Look at that giant lure. That's bigger than some fish people can. <laughs> oh. Forever. So how big was your uh, how big was your musky? King Charizard. Oh, you gotta go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, our bobber rod's going. See, now you gotta grab Zach from somewhere else. Ugh, Bjorn hair in my mouth. My dog heard Bjorn eating, so she immediately ran over for a tree and hollow crow. I'm so sorry. Sorry to put that on you. Hey, stop. Put it down, put it down, put it down. Ooh, this is a thick boy. Maybe it's not that big. What's a fish trivia? Math flashcards? Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Frontier Fishing just liked. Well, thanks, Frontier Fishing. Appreciate it. Hey, King Bjorn, calm yourself. The feast awaits. No, nope. switching sides doesn't help. Just got a unique bluegill with 44 pound line. It was a tremendous fight for a three pounder. You are acting crazy. You know that? Everyone is laughing at you. You're like obsessed. You're a treataholic. You need to calm down. Uh, yes, I gave her one so she didn't feel left out. Oh, that's good. Okay. In a way, I feel like I gave your dog a treat. I, I know I didn't, but I feel like I did. It was it was by my doing. <laughs> I'm around level 20 right now. Hey, um, if you have enough money, head to Everglades and target. Oh my god, dude. Calm down. He's so frustrating right now. Just like attacked me. I want those treats! Give me those treats! Lay down or something. He's a little bit of both. He, uh, he goes to KU, but he graduated from K-State. You twisted my rubber arm, I'll give her another one from you. <laughs> no, the first one was from me, in a way. But I'll take the second one as well. It was 13 pounds. Well, hey, right on, Carson. That's awesome. Man, any fish over 10 pounds is, is cool. Um, so... That's fine with me. Hey, we got backlash with weed, though we already have that mission done, so it doesn't really do anything.
Our fish have stopped biting. And it stopped. It stopped raining now. Good deal. Christopher Thompson, how's it going? And Matt, how are you doing? So your basketball coach from Kansas, Zach. Go, go Tar Heels. <laughs> Pretty sure that I have a diamond of every species on SRP except for Bighorn and Black Bear. I'm missing uh, Bighorn. Pretty sure. Bighorn. And I guess, I don't know. I mean, I technically haven't got a bison or a mountain lion from SRP, but it'd be good on everything else, I'm pretty sure. Trimming planets. Whoa. Is the call, is the lever action in Call of the Wild worth getting? Hey, it's worth getting if you're just looking for another gun to get, basically. It's nothing special. Um, I think the 4570 is kind of fun to use on, um, on wolves, though. Not sure why we're not catching any more fish. About to sell all of your stuff to get a better rod. Don't sell all of your stuff. Bait was eaten or lost due to this freaking turtle? You gotta be kidding me. When did they add turtles to this game? They've always had turtles in this game, man. Listen to this song, my gosh. I feel like I'm playing Halo right now. I was using pork chalk and got two big blue cats today. Well, right on, Carson. That's awesome, man. Mass is on Sunday. Uh, yeah, once I reel this in, I'll change it. It was King Bjorn. He thinks this song is about him. His holiness. La 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 la. This is the uh, the video game album on uh, Epidemic Sound. I saw that frontier. I made it to Rocky Lake today, Bo. Those trout are getting me tons of XP. I was seven and now I'm up to 11. Hey, right on. That's awesome. Oh, come on, man. We are just not getting it. We are just not getting it right now. Medved Tiger song. <laughs> Misfits. The Halo soundtrack is a gift, Squish Flint says. And if Squish Flint said it, then it has to be true. Gosh dang it. We're just not catching any fish right now. Like, all together, we're not catching any fish. We have three rods out right now. Imagine Skyrim, but it's futuristic like Halo. What, like Cyberpunk? 
<laughs> five hour old Chick fil A is pretty smacking. And I thought that said five year old for a second, and I was just thinking, good God. Yeah, I understand. Do you have TikTok? Try not to be cringe. No, I don't have TikTok. Zach has TikTok, though. Silent cartographer mission soundtrack, I swear. Oh my god, just catch a fish. Why is this so difficult? What do you think I should get a feeder rod or upgrade my telescopic rod? I can't decide. That is a good question. Do you get a free lodge once you've done completing all missions on a map? What, what do you mean, Colby Whiteman? All the lodges are free. Goodness gracious, we are just not doing well right now. What? What? I don't understand. We were catching so many fish, and now we're not catching any fish. doing he knew I wanted you to cast it out there silly peak time and it's slower than molasses in January I don't get it it's peak time and we're not catching fish Landon Clay is late. Oh my gosh, Landon Clay. We have all been waiting on you. What have you been doing? Car fishing on Fishing Planet gives so much XP and cash. Ooh, I bet. I honestly haven't even been yet. But I, I want to. It's something I'm looking forward to doing more. Oh, the bobber rod's moving. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Your ortho is your art teacher? What? Oh, when's the beard supposed to be grown by? Today. Is it good enough? Is it is it good enough for a wedding? What do you think? Is it good is it good wedding length? Could you could you picture wedding images with this length of beard or does it need to be longer? What do you think? 
I, th I think it's perfect. I think it's a perfect length. I don't know. I haven't seen her tonight. I came home and she was asleep. <laughs> right on to get a pizza I'm not complaining <laughs> right on Totino's pizza Zach loves Totino's pizza to you grow your beard out like mine oh I don't know what yours is like. <laughs> After the wedding though, I'll, I'll grow it out. For sure. I just can't have a super long beard for the wedding. Your beard refuses to grow. Yeah, what is the deal about that, Megan? I would, I would be upset if I were you. I'm sure it gets cold in Baltimore and you could use a beard. As a barber, I think the length suits you. Just make sure to keep the edges clean. The edges clean. With a razor. We are just not getting lucky right now with this thing. Last time I was here, I was catching all sorts of pike with this. That's all the fish that were in my fish keeper when, I, when we first started this stream. I caught with this lure and this rod doing exactly what I'm doing right now. It's not catching anything. How has they been? How has they been? Are you asking how my day has been? Been pretty good. Cosplay is Luke Skywalker from TLJ and Thor from Endgame. And got a long beard. Ooh, very nice. We'll we'll get to that sort sort of that to that stage. Hopefully by December, January, maybe. I, it won't be that long. It'll be you know three inches maybe. Whoa, we actually got one right at the end here. Like trying to keep an eye on my bobber over there. <laughs> Russian cheese man. Russian cheese man. But a spot that goes dead change spots. Yeah, but this spot doesn't go dead. It never dies. It never dies, 66 Paul. Never dies. Just trying to keep an eye on my bobber. Eye on bobber. Oh, please just let me go through here. We're gonna make it super difficult to get back to our rod. As difficult as we can. Maybe we'll just move. A different angle. We'll attack from this side. Clearly it did. Clearly. You just don't know. All of the fish are sleeping right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to wake them up. That's why I'm, I'm fishing right here. That way they'll wake up and start biting again. You should do a Q and A. Well, what kind of Q and A? Like, why would what what would people even ask? Flank the fish. That's what I'm talking about. Not successful. Oh no! I cannot believe this.
garbage Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah. Landon Clay is dealing with garbage Wi-Fi too. Oh my gosh. Some Kenny G stuff right here. Oh! Jingle jingle! Ah, uh, running! Running! Jingle, jingle, jingle! Wash with saline. Oh, you need you need one of those oil-based oil wipes. And level four pronghorn make diamond. Uh, I haven't found one yet, but maybe. Wooing those fish with some sweet sacks. That's what I'm talking about. Wake them up. Time to wake up them fish with some saxophone. Do, do, do. Talk to chat, but just something I would like. <laughs> Seeing as I don't have Forza, it would be difficult for me to do that. Um. Whoa! Zachary? Zachary is in Fishing Planet? No way. And he's level 113? Zachary, how do you play this game so much? How would you like to come find me in Mudwater River? <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Mudwater River is so slow. I remember when we did it. Make your way to Emerald Lake, and then we'll meet you at Emerald Lake. We'll catch some walleye. I swear, that would be fun. If you could, if you could, I don't really want fish. Well, you're you're too low of a level, man. You need to get to Emerald Lake. It's not fun. Back to War Zone I go. Okay. <laughs> I think I have the corrupt file fixed now. Hey, Ryan on. Long PJs or short PJs? Oof. I'm out of bait too. What the heck, man? Um. um Mm, I I can't stand long PJs. It's just too hot. Too hot for me. Hold you next year now, David. <laughs> Is that how Canada be? Is that how Canada be to you? Do 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 do. Supposed to be chilly down here in North Carolina. Our chilly and chilly Canada is way different. <laughs> 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure how cold it is for us. I haven't been looking. What map should I play on in Call of the Wild? I don't know, Jacob Smith. I would just go on multiplayer and just find whatever looks good. Whatever looks fun to you. Give it a go. Jenner, the outdoorsman. Hey, how's it going? <sighs> 50 in West Virginia. Is Call of the Wild free on PC? Don't believe so, Broncos Nation. You're going to have to pay some sort of money, even when it's on sale. I've seen it go on sale for like $4. Still costs money. Yeah. 
my try you con calling me a con we are just not doing any work with this jerk bait today that bobber's starting to starting to move though and we need to try to crankbait mix things up Oh, there it goes. Switch the freaking poles, bro. Jeez Louise. Got your PB channel cat yesterday in real life. That's awesome, man. How, bi how big was your PB channel cat? Or is your PB channel cat now, I guess. Good luck out there. Just have fun, 69. Thanks, bro. Jacob Garza, how's it going? This dude had me anchored a little bit with Trophy Northern Pike. That'll work. I'm actually going to uh, keep this rod here. So I'm thinking about moving. Jeez, only 12. Li People have been busy, man. It's a lot of work to like a video. <laughs> Evidently, you have like you have like uh, videos with like 500, 600 views, and then there's only like 26 likes, and it's just like, man, a lot of people did not like this video. It was horrible, but not horrible enough to dislike it. It was just mediocre. <laughs> I always forget to turn the chat to live chat been getting the leftover rain from hurricane here it's been in the 70s but humid as heck gosh dang man what's going on here getting some sort of thing patrick stowe with the subscribe thank you so much patrick and thanks for fishing with me man this is fun i'm gonna attack it from the opposite direction now gotta feed your zoo oh, okay Sounds good. Our music stopped. We ran out of video game music. Oh no. But, oh, 10 pound channel. Hey, right on, man. I love a good 10 pound channel cat. Nothing wrong there. Get a big fish, man. That's what I'm going for, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying. I got six hot hooks. I got large minnows, man. I'm trying to go for a big fish. Believe you me. You're right back. Gonna kill my game. My chat isn't working for some reason. Gosh dang it. sucks Bodie Ewing how's it going man having a good day like a child I am <laughs> hey sometimes takes a little practice you just you just try to get into the rhythm of it catch a sturgeon I'll tell you what Landon James if a sturgeon jumps onto my line I'll catch it just for you but uh, unfortunately, the last time I, I typed into the chat, please give me a sturgeon. It didn't give me a sturgeon. I don't know what this this game's deal is. It's just like when you ask for fish, they just it still doesn't help. <laughs> Bodie Ewing, thank you for the subscribe, man. Appreciate it. Your PB flathead in real life is 52 pounds. Hey, that's awesome. Evans outdoors. I tell you what, I've been trying to get my brother to uh, go out fishing for flathead with me for the past few weeks. And uh, he's just a difficult guy to get out there. I'm like, hey, man, it's going to be fun. 
we'll uh, we'll set up some chairs in a hammock or something like that. And uh, I got some bite alarms. We'll set up our rods out there with some bluegill, and uh, we'll just pick a good spot and just sit out there for you know sit out there till 11 o'clock at night or something like that and just have a good time drinking some soda of course and then we'll then we'll come home but uh he's he's difficult to to talk into that sort of thing evidently i caught all three types of musk uni musky oh wow on top of that not only musky, but uni musky. Very nice. Elijah Wilson, AO. AO, Elijah Wilson. Yeah, that's awesome, Jenner. That's my name correctly. Most people pronounce it Stowe. Stowey. Just ste is steam like stow to me. <laughs> I don't know. Going bass fishing tomorrow. Hey, right on, Easton. Well, good luck, man. Hopefully you have better luck fishing for bass than I'm having fishing for uh, pike and muskie right now. I'm not having very much luck at all. Evidently, blue is a bad color. Let's uh, throw this on, maybe. You got him on the carp bow. That definitely counts as a success. Yeah, that's right. That's true. It's the little things that I have to be excited about. I got my brother out to go catch carp, and he had so much fun that he actually asked to go do it a second time. That's not bad, you know. And then you have days like today where I'm like, hey, man, what do you have planned today? And he goes, I'm not going fishing. I was like, oh, OK, well, I was just going to ask if you wanted to do anything. But OK, fishing is out. <laughs> Cut its tail off and put it on bottom because it will just swim in circles and look injured. Oh, OK. Well, the fact is, is that it, it will be injured, so it, it will look the part, I suppose, because it won't have a tail anymore, so it will be, in fact, injured. <laughs> so it won't only look injured, but it will be injured. You're grinding trout in Fishing Planet. Well, right on. An old uh, rocky lake or whatever. Smallmouth and trout fishing tomorrow. Well, that sounds fun, Broncos Nation. Tell you what, I am not liking these days. I'm about to skip this day. Just, I'm, I'm just not having fun. Your birthday is September 25th. We're right on. It's coming up, isn't it? Seven days. You know, successfully convinced my brother was good as a whipped coffee. Hey, that's not bad. Come on. Oh. Stupid. Maybe we should try a popper. Do something different. And we'll just, we'll, uh, we'll find the magic thing. We're actually going crazy for poppers right now. Gotta mess that up bad. I mean, Hino messed that up bad. Come on, Hino, get your stuff together. <sighs> Flathead fishing tomorrow. We'll ride on. Unless I can get my brother to go with me, I might just end up carp fishing by myself. <laughs> But that's okay. I like carp fishing. I think it's fun. Who is Luke Combs? Is he a country singer? What lure do you have the most success with for pike? 
Um, so far, it's been that one uh, yellow jerk bait with the tiger stripes, but for some reason, it's not doing well right now. I think it's just because uh, I'm on a different type of day right now. And uh, the past couple days that I've been fishing here, I've been using, or I've been on other days, I guess. Like, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Most of the days that I've been fishing have been like this day four and day five and this day six. Pretty much all of these other days here is what we have been fishing here for the past couple streams. But now we have this one, which isn't great. Reaches its maximum by noon. Well, by golly, if this is the maximum, we are in trouble because it's not it's not great. Going for them. It was great. Well, thanks, Bro Broncos Nation. I appreciate it. Oh. We got one! What do we get? A little northern pike! We got one on the popper! We did it! What kind of music you into? Uh, pretty much the music I'm listening to right now. House music, uh, synth, synth wave, um, electro, uh, some some rap hip hop, lo-fi hip hop. I really like lo-fi hip hop. But I also like I like old old stuff too. I say old stuff, but really just like uh, rock from like the seventies and eighties. Some sixty, some pretty sure. Anyway, some of those songs date back to the sixties, but but mostly the seventies and eighties. How long do you think you'll stream tonight? I honestly have no idea, dude. I'm watching you, Bobber. Don't you move. Do you like Jurassic Park? Of course I like Jurassic Park. I actually watched uh, all of the Camp Cretaceous episodes on Netflix today. If you uh, If you haven't seen that. You're a metalhead. We got you. Got any big fish yet? No, technically, I mean, honestly, we haven't. I blame it on the type of day. We're just not, it's just not a great day for fishing. Daryl Smith, the pop yo. TV Blue in real life is 67 pounds and it was a monster. Sounds like a monster, man. What's your name on Fishing Planet? I don't know why people always ask me this. Like, why do you think I would choose a different name than BZ Hub? <laughs> the name is BZ Hub. It's BZ Hub. Yo, what's your Instagram? BZ Hub. Yo, what's your Twitter? BZ Hub. What about YouTube? BZ Hub. It's BZ Hub. All over the place. Discord? BZ Hub. All right, right on. Gerald Smith got a diamond white tail right on, man. That's awesome. I'm telling you, this is not a good day. Maybe it'd be a better day fishing for something else. We could always go try to catch some uh, some blue cats again, I guess. I mean, if the pike are, go are going to bite, then we might as well try. Landon Clay has to hit the hay. Hey, hope to see you another day. May I say? 
100 pound blue catfish live on the bayou behind your house is a hundred pound blue catfish did you catch it and weigh it and then set it free or something you're in an evening peak yeah i don't know what's going on either man six feet i'm chatting for my computer gerald i wish i could get one diamond but you could get one diamond go away all right we're gonna try to catch a blue cat i guess before I shot my first diamond. Ooh. They grow some big fish in the bayous. Those fish are no joke. <laughs> You've caught some 100 pound alligator gar for 5F. Well, that what is a 5F? I don't even know why I'm trying to pop her over here. Jacob Regards, there's a big fan. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Six foot alligator gar and a hundred pound catfish. My goodness gracious. One time a 200 pound blue catfish sounds insane. Yeah, that does sound pretty insane. Little rascal. Call of the Wild is fixed now. Is it fixed? Top notch, man. Really want to skip the day. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. I don't know what to do. Not good. Not good. Wish I had a smaller rod with some spinners or a narrow spoon or something to go for walleye. I don't have anything like that though. This area looks fun. It is fun if you're on a good day. I'm not sure. I haven't figured out these days yet. You must need to go after a different type of fish or something because the pike are not biting. And, uh, doesn't seem like the catfish are biting either. This bobber is moving a bit, though. Is this the gross water bottle lake? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I've never heard it called the gross water bottle lake before. <laughs> C 
see fish making boils out there, but I just don't know. Okay, we're gonna have to skip some days, I think, because this isn't gonna work. You hooked one that snapped your line and you saw it was like, wow. It was like, whoa. Nibbles. I heard the nibbles. Come on. Grab it. Got to shoot a 7mm Magnum Browning lever action yesterday. I can't wait to use it this rifle season. Well, right on, Nathaniel Cobb. Are these lakes in the game lakes in real life? Uh, I think kind of. Pretty sure. I mean, I've heard people say that St. Croix Lake in Michigan, it's Michigan, right? Is a nice lake, so. Yeah. How many fish have you got? Oh, a few. <laughs> there we go. Finally got one, okay. I think I catch blue catfish a lot. Right on, bro. Timothy Descato is back. Good deal. He's pulling us out a little bit. Are you catfish fishing? We are for right now, anyway. I'm thinking about changing the time after this for a little bit. Just because I I'm I'm getting kind of bored with these types of days. The past couple streams have been on different types of days at Saint Croix. And this one's been a bit slow. <laughs> Mess up on that chat accidentally. Okay. Pulling us out. Have you ever checked out the European maps yet? I I've been to a few of them. Um. I went to one of the starting European maps, and I also went to um, the uh, the river canal type thing that's in the um, the um, oh, Netherlands map, I guess. So you should listen to fished out okay <laughs> Hudson Weverka is it Weverka Weverka that sounds okay Weverka 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 Coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA, baby, Come on, fish. Yeah. We're at 80 now. I'm on 10, 10, 10. Yeah. It's not like a super hard fight. But uh he's certainly taking his time to get in here, isn't he? Oh, we've gone from 45 to 50 now, eh? I have no idea. I have a video game. Uh, I have a video game album on right now, so it's just kind of playing a bunch of random music at the moment. Hey, this guy's pretty decent size. 31 pounds. <laughs> Not very decent size, but hey, decent. Decent guy. Okay, I probably should have kept him just for the heck of it. Um, gonna take this. 
Bow with the one eye carp. Bow with the one eye carp. Waverka. Okay. I got you. Okay. So we're going to move. I'm thinking anyway. Smash the trash. Got your friend request. Um, this is supposed to be peak time. It's so strange though. Um, we're going to skip to 7 a.m. I think that or maybe 6 a.m. Because that's when we were actually catching fish. Not sure. Okay, let's move back to this area. Mill dog that you need a good... Oh, good catfish spot cast by the fair. Cast by the fair. World Pro 2 for a video. At some point, Timothy, um, I haven't hit max level yet on Fishing Planet, so I probably won't play for a while. Um, it's just a bad use of time for the moment. Under Call of the Wild or Fishing Planet? At the moment, I'm enjoying Fishing Planet more. Um, just a little bored with Call of the Wild for the moment. Just bought rod holders in Fishing Planet. Like a rod stand? That, that is pretty, that is pretty cool. Those are great. Hey, to bed, y'all. I'm meeting some fellas for breakfast. Everyone have a fantastic night. David Probus, thanks for being here, man. It's been fun, for sure. Okie dokie, let's try to get something here. Oh shoot, I messed that up. That's pretty quick. What is the max level for Fishing Planet? 60? Yeah, it's around. It's, it is up there, isn't it? Let's see. 65 is the level, max level. 65 is the max level. I got a Broncos Nation, hopefully. What level are you? We're at level 40. About level 41, though. So we're getting there. This thing wasn't catching any fish last time we were using it, but we'll give it another try. Tell me when I'm done playing with post-apocalyptic games, I have samurai and flesh-eating giraffe. Flesh-eating giraffes? Goodness gracious. Jacob Garza, you make me happy. You make me happy, Jacob Garza. Having people like you in the chat make the game fun. Eight to sixteen times scope on Call of the Wild. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. To me, it was too zoomed in, and there were times where uh, I was pretty close to animals, and I wished that I could zoom out more. So then I went back to the four to eight. It's gracious, Bjornsson. Itchy dog. Timothy is level 45, 40. Crush your rats with it. Genuine, genuine, you know, thing to think about, I suppose. I'm not sure. I don't know how much weight rats can take. <laughs> I was going to donate some money if I could also known the super chat. Was going to do if I could also known the super chat. 
What are, you, what, are we, what are you talking about, Jenner? Eli's on the walleye grind. Well, right on, man. Cal and Blankenship, I'm not in Alabama. All right. Football game tomorrow. Hudson, Waverka, have a good time. Good luck, man. Oh, you are hot in Alabama. Okay. Got you, bro. Collapsible skeletons, right? Been surging fishing in California on the game. We're right on, man. That sounds fun. We'll get there at some point. My football game is canceled for the season. No! That stinks. He says it's not fun. I think he just secretly doesn't know how. I think so, too. <laughs> you should catch Alligator Gar in the game. I have. Uh, I haven't put out the video yet. I haven't even edited it. Maybe that's something I can do tomorrow morning. Or maybe I'll go fishing. Edit a video or go fishing? What a difficult decision. <laughs> mm. Surprise him with your knowledge, that's right. Yeah, you're supposed to not you're supposed to not get the the hook in your hand. Zachy Muirhead. Go fishing. Yes. Thank you, Zachary. I think that's what I'll do. I'm kind of surprised at how so much football has been canceled. Yeah, hockey hasn't even be canceled for me yet. Yeah. Privileged hockey players. <laughs> you have zero knowledge on how to fish for carp have you even been paying attention in my videos what are you even doing i have taught you how to catch carp multiple times magdalene john magdal is a magdalene magdalene why is that name? It looks so familiar, but I can't think of how to pronounce it. Oh. Reeling this in fast. Reeling this in fast. Go. Discard. You're going surf fishing. That sounds interesting. You got 200,000 in Fishing Planet? Well, I didn't have 200,000. I had close to, I think, 140,000. Then I started buying things. <laughs> Hi, Eli. Hi, Eli. Hi, Eli. Are you saying hi? I've been talking to you multiple times throughout this whole thing. I thought we've been past high, Eli. School is out for Hurricane Sally. Goodness gracious. When are you going to make the next Jurassic World game? Next video for the Jurassic World game? Soon. Either tomorrow or on Sunday. I actually thought about doing it tonight, but then I was like, well, kind of want to play Fishing Planet. Well, fishing plan's free, J Jacob Garza, so give it a try. You don't know what line to use and what size hooks. 
Well, I'm using, I have no idea, 20 pound braid or something and like 30 pound or 40 pound mono on the one saltwater rig. <laughs> Which is overkill, but uh, still fun. It's, gets you the fish, you know? Will you just switch to the other rod, Jeez Louise? Bunch of rotting chicken livers. Hey, yeah, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I think we're gonna skip this, yes. All right, we've skipped back to the decent days. And it only cost me a bacon. Isn't great. Adam Smith, good night. Hey, take care, Adam Smith. I'm surprised about hockey still going on since I'm nowhere near Michigan or anything and I'm all way over in Maryland. That barber is going all over the place right now. There we go. Get money fast here in Michigan, though. It's nice. Yeah, I agree. Well, the the pike just pay a lot, man. The pike pay a lot. You have to make a dinosaur game. No. I don't want you to play a dinosaur game and make a video. I want you to make a dinosaur game. What don't you understand about this? Get off your butt and go make a dinosaur game. 20 pound braid with five pound leader. So then just disconnect the five pound leader. And put on a sinker. Put some put some corn on the end of it and go see if you can get a carp. And then if you like it, then you can go and, and buy yourself a a feeder and stuff like that. Gosh darn it. Go grab something to drink. Hey, right on, man. Both of my lines are moving right now. You have type 1 diabetes? Do you really? I had some friends in high school that had type 1 diabetes. And my uh, my uncle actually had type 1 diabetes too. Definitely sucks, I understand. And uh, I actually did some um, projects in college with Bayer Pharmaceuticals that had to do with uh, type 1 diabetics as well. So, I know I know a little bit. I know everything but the actual experience. <laughs> yes. Can't wait to see the concept art. See, what I'm thinking is that I'm going to do some nice concept art for dinosaurs. Um, that's, that's what I've got going on right now. Just uh, picture dinosaurs. That's what I'm going to have. You just wait. How's it going, Watcher? 
I'm a uh, I'm I'm catching fish with um, my bottom and my float rod and then I'm throwing out a lure to pass time because I don't seem to be catching any fish with it hi there puppy dog Easy, guess what? What's up, Watcher? Can I hunt these dinos? No, no hunting my dinos. No hunting my dinos. Baby boy! King Bjorn. Baby boy, King Bjorn. When are you gonna make the next live stream? I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe, maybe Sunday. Who knows? It's up in the air. Today is your birthday. Well, fantastic. Happy birthday, Watcher. The bobber's moving. It's moving, everyone. What do you think there, bud? Was that good? You like that tree? The good boy arrived. He's been here. But he, he has been a good boy, because earlier he was going kind of crazy to get these treats and, on my desk. But he's recently stopped and just been laying down for a while. So that's good. <laughs> so it was uh, trying to play and dealing with a dog trying to get treats the entire time. It's not fun. <sighs> All hail the king. The screen is still split. Yes. On purpose. Jacob Gars is in sixth grade. Oh boy. Have you ever had someone yell at you while fishing? Like in real life, Easton? Not really. What you doing? If you could just see this face right now. Trevo's birthday was Monday and you got a $350 crossbow. Well, right on, man. That's awesome. I'm out of bait again. Gosh darn it. How many times am I going to run out of bait, Bjornison? Oh my gosh. What? Calm yourself. Do you have any patience? Ah. the one yelling at people <laughs> the Karens in Kansas are dangerous are they someone yelled at me in real life right now I'd wither like a sensitive plant <laughs> don't yell at me I'm fragile emotionally fragile please don't that's what I would say too hey don't yell I didn't know. I emotionally bruise easy. Please be, please be nice. Oh, season starts on the first for you. Okay. We're right on Trevo. Well, 
Welcome to watch her. If I knew good, I'd give you a present. Why are you way over here now? Huh? What are you doing over here? Silly fish. Another trophy. Usually when someone gets me mad at hockey, they will get a nasty hit. Nasty hit. Yeah, but we're not talking about hockey smash to trash. I'm happy I'm about to cry. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Gorn, go lay down. No treats. Go lay down. Just he's just setting his head on me, just waiting. I'm just impatient. Your molecular structure enough to melt you? Ten point buck that eats in my backyard. I'm going to try to get this year with my new bow and mount it. Oh my, you have a nice pet deer in your backyard and you're gonna shoot it? What are you doing? It trusts you so much. It probably looks up to you in your house all every single day and thinks, Ah, oh, thank gosh, that person is so nice to me. He allows me to eat this food every single day. This this Christmas, I'm going to do something nice for that boy. And now you're talking about shooting it. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> so that's like that's like what my grandfather would say. He would always I would like talk to him and he would be like, yeah, well, Oh, I've got all these coyotes in my backyard. Oh, I'll just sit out there in the evening and just watch the coyotes just run and stuff like that. And then, like, come winter time, he'll be like, yeah, so I shot those coyotes. I kind of miss having them around. And I'm like, well, yeah, but that's, I mean, you shot them. They're dead. So they're not, they're not going to be around. You kind of ruined your fun. <laughs> you, you used to tell me how you enjoyed watching them, but you shot them and now they're gone. So... You did it to yourself, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. That's the thing about fishing. You can think about catching the fish in your pond. You can catch the fish in your pond. You can just throw them back. Then you can go out and catch them again later on. That's why I like fishing. A giant boar! Really do. I'm not trying to joke. It's trespassing, is it? Though I mean, you built your house in its home. <laughs> I think you're the trespasser. Love your content, Seth Thomas. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. We are just not getting anything with this darn lure. Oh, now we've got a bite. Okay, I hear you. Calm down. Oh, fight me right now. Let's go. I'll fight you. But before we begin, I have two cups and one has poison in it. Will you choose cup number one or cup number two? And before you choose one, 
You may have thought that I put poison in cup number one, but maybe because I knew you would think that I put poison in cup number two. What do you choose? After you choose, we shall fight. Every time I see a deer, I say jerky. Is that like a Tourette's sort of thing? You just like see something and you just like yell words. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tourette's isn't something to j <coughs> joke about. <coughs> the deer don't know that. Chase Belson, Chase Belson, hello. Chase Belson, hello. Um, wish we could catch more fish on this lure <clears throat> princess bride makes your life happy seth thomas chooses cup number two. Ooh, interesting choice chase seth thomas <laughs> i said chase thomas Oh, we got our first northern pike. Woo woo on the baitcaster. Look at that baitcaster though. That's pretty. Doesn't have a lot of line on it though. Stowe, what are you doing? Your fish is way over here, man. We still have not got a unique this entire time. If you just want to know how how different this stream has been since the other streams. Like, we were getting two and three uniques every stream. And we have not gotten one this entire time. <clears throat> hey, right on. Hey, hey, we got another one. Two on the lure. It's a stream over. Well, later I'm tired be safe stay out of trouble and as always take care and as always remember one planet one family game on so we stocked our pond with channel cats and a year later we thought they were all dead but a week ago I caught a giant one fried them up for dinner well how about that man Jacob Smith's got to go to bed. Hey, good night, Jacob Smith. Take care, man. Help reel it in fast. Ah, I was I was helping you. <laughs> Boy, this guy's really fighting. I'm assuming it's a muskie, or it's a giant northern pike. This might be our first unique, or it'll be a muskie. I mean, this is the 33 pound. The 33 pounds of drag on this reel, and it is pulling us out. Fighting us something nasty right now. Sleepy night night. Hey, Colby Whiteman, take care, man. You're gonna leave as soon as we got our, our first decent fish on here? Goodness gracious. I was in third grade when I shot my first deer. Hey, right on. Memories. Memories on the moonlight. It's like a musky. It's a trophy musky at that. Hey, broke the personal record there. And I just have trouble catching big muskies, evidently. A trophy muskies. Look at that big f fat lad right there. over here for a picture woo woo PB PB he nil 
What do you think of that PB, man? He says, I am not entertained by your fish. This fish is no bigger than the last ones. All right, top notch. I'm trying to shoot my first deer this year. Hopefully, I can nail one in a month. All right, top notch. My three months anniversary is on opening day. Your three months dating anniversary? Um. First off, I would get over anniversaries on a monthly basis because that's annoying. <laughs> It shouldn't be a big deal that you last a month together, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, don't eat the big ones, eat the smaller ones. President of the United States is back. Hey, right on. I'm trying to shoot. I already read that one. Yo, Casey's Ultimate Outdoor Adventures. How's it going? What do you want, buddy? Oh my gosh. It's just such a hard life being Dorn. Being King Dorn. Oh. Um, 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 um. Um, um, um. Oh. 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 Can you stay up here? Can you eat it up here? Can you? <laughs> Silly boy. I know, but I do it for her. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Not cats. Not cats. What do you got against cats, Bjorn? No. I don't have any treats. Go bother someone else. You wish Churchill out hugs? Well, when Bjorn is thinking about treats, he doesn't give hugs either. He's just, all he cares about is treats. Seth Thomas is grinding for the invisible line, but still hasn't gotten it yet. Well, Seth, did you watch the video, man? Did you watch my video on the invisible line? I've lasted a month. Is that not worth celebrating? Yeah. <laughs> Akuma Master, how's it going? I'm gonna reel these in and throw them back out. How much money are you making in the game right now? We're making about, um, if I can fill up my 264 pounds of fish, making about $29,000, $30,000 every fish keeper. Of course, it helps when you can catch fish on all three rods. But uh, we're at St. Croix right now, Seth Thomas. Getting a snack, that rhymed. Hey, ooh. Dinos rule. Dinos do rule, man. T-Rex is probably on the loose. Oh, he got a fish. I didn't know it was a fish. <laughs> Top notch. Top notch. That's our third fish on this thing. Let's try something different here.
Nothing like watching BZ up and eating popcorn. Ooh. That's what we're talking about. I love eating popcorn. Ricky Bradshaw, how's it going, man? Ricky Bradshaw. I like it. Actually leaving, but good luck. And we'll stream. When will the stream end? I don't know when the stream will end. We could be up till one in the morning grinding for fish at St. Croix. I don't know yet. <laughs> You're tired, but you want to watch me? Man, it's 10 30 on a Friday. What else are you going to do on a Friday? Hang out with friends in real life? What? What? Oh shoot. Oh, we got it. We're good. And fish it will be fun to watch. Hunting and fishing experience. What do you what do you mean? What do you mean, Trevo? I've already made a video that shows off my hunting and fishing experience. I can't leave, I'm staying. <laughs> You're awesome, Eli. Squish is leaving. Oh no! Take care, Squish. Have fun. Have fun sleeping. And stay warm. <sighs> Never mind the yawn. I'm not tired. Yeah, I've already made a video that encapsulates all of the inner life hunting I've ever done along with the fishing all in one video. And then, uh, and then any new fishing that I do, I mean, I, I GoPro it, so you pretty much know anytime I go fishing in real life because I end up posting a video about it. It's 10.30 where you are. Well, it's 10.30 where I am too, Green Donut. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Have a good week, but hey, take care, Broncos Nation. Thanks for being here, man. Colton DiCamillo, how are you? Do you reckon Australia will be the next new map on the 100 Gold of Wap? I, I do. My money's on Australia, Hayden Allen. And uh, I'm pretty fun. I, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm excited for a new map with some area that I haven't seen before. Whoa! What the heck? What, we just got him like 17 feet off the freaking shoreline? That was so crazy. It, it was just like a random fish that we pulled in. We caught it like literally in that grass right there and just pulled it like it was no, there was no fight whatsoever. That was hilarious. Crazy uniques, am I right? Crazy uniques. Let's see what Heenail thinks of this guy. Yeah, what do you think of that guy, Heenail? Pretty decent sized pike, eh? Swallow your hand, Heenail. Swallow your hand. $3,961 in the bank. Where? In the bank. Where's the money, though? In the bank. Open your ears. It's in the bank. Oh, Bobber's moving. Colton, how are you today? I'm doing well, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why did I pick up this rod? Okay. Woo! We got another one. 
Just got back-to-back -back unique brown trout. Well, that's pretty awesome, Riley Junker. And you followed me on Instagram. Well, thanks, Riley. Is anyone here not following me on Instagram? You know I post videos of Bjorn on there, right? You, you know that, right? You know I post pictures of the fish I catch on there, right? You know I post videos of Zachary sleeping on there, right? I don't. I'm just kidding. Invasion of privacy. <laughs> Your dad's cooking you hot dogs at 10.30 at night? That's a nice northern pike. Not too bad, Tristan Jack. Thank you. Dang it, snagged. When it had to sleep, ah, oh, Megan's heading to sleep too. Well, we know when the party animal's heading to sleep, we're in trouble. The rest of us are just gonna fall asleep now. Colton got a new rod. We'll ride on, man. That's awesome. You're in the future? How many more uniques are we gonna catch in the next hour, Trevo? Tell us what the future holds for us. Got a beluga once and I had to fight it for 20 minutes. Wow. I can't wait till we uh get into that stuff. I know that they have sturgeon here at St. Croix, but uh Yeah, I haven't really attempted to go after one. But maybe at some point. Leonardo Vera, what's up, dude? Hey, how's it going there, Leonardo? Whoa, that just took off. That just took off. Come here, you fish. Come here, you fish. What a slow reveal for an 8.4 pound northern pike. Golly. Hey, we got number uh, new. <laughs> oh, God. We got number 41. We got level 41. Level 41. We got the power holder rod sand. I'm pretty excited about that, actually. Um, cat boxer 710 titanium leaders. We got Bjorn sleeping on the floor. Hi, Bjorn. So sleepy. $1,500 and one bay coin right on. We got the River Tech Zeus 8 foot 10 as well. Cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. Such a good puppy. Yeah. Know a good spot for largemouth bass at Narani River. I don't know where Narani River is, but right on. Sounds like some good information there, Jenner. Trophies, a lot of trophies. I got the Pen Fierce 3 5,000 reel, 7 foot, 15 pound mono for my first ever fishing rod. Dang, bro. Sounds awesome. Can you do another peacock bass and largemouth bass frog fishing video again, please? Hey, if that's what people want, then we can certainly do it. We can certainly make it happen. I actually think it's one of the most popular fishing planet videos, too, so... And I love fishing at the Everglades, so... You know, it's not... Not any problem to me. What fish are there? What do you, what do you mean, what fish are there? It's all sorts of fish. <laughs> do you like Back to the Future? Yeah. It's pretty... Pretty decent films. I actually watched uh, all three of them not too long ago. Samuel Townsend, what's good? Hey, a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff is good. And a lot of stuff is bad. But, you know, we're just dealing with it as it comes. Did I pick up the wrong rod again? Gosh dang it. Here we go. Here we go. Another fish. 21 pound flathead, not my biggest, but still good money. Yeah. Well, the Darden flatheads don't give you very much money, honestly. Um, big fish like that, ch uh, flatheads, channel cats, blue cats, they're all, the, they're all the same. They all don't give very much money, unfortunately. But uh, it's still fun to catch a big fish like that, for sure.
I've had a unique day, unique brown trout, times two unique tiger clear, musky, unique drum, and two unique blue cats. Hey, right on, Riley. That's awesome. You know, if you join the BZ Hub Discord, you can post pictures of your stuff, which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Pretty cool. You like making people jealous? Oh, outlet for jealousy. You like generating some jealousy? What kind of fish are at the place I'm at? Ah, lots of fish. This is, there's a ton of fish at St. Croix, actually. I'm watching my bobber right now, otherwise I would bring it up and show it to you right now. We'll, we'll sneak some, sneak a peek. Um, for one, American Shad, Atlantic Salmon, Blue Catfish, blunt nosed Minnow, Brook Trout, Brown Bullhead, Brown Trout, Clear Musky, Freshwater Drum, Golden Shiners, Green Sunfish, Lake Sturgeon, Muskies, Northern Pike, Pumpkin Seed, Rock Bass, Smallmouth Bass, Tiger Muskies, Tiger Trout, Walleye, White Bass, and Yellow Perch. So, quite a few fish species here at St. Croix. <laughs> Nice to see you got out of the no facial hair face. Hey, it's coming right back after Halloween, man. <laughs> That's what it was all about. After that, uh, I'll have my wedding and then we'll let the beard grow out till, uh, till we reach spring again. Unless I need to shave it for a job interview or something, which is possible. Every time I tune in, I see more subs. Joe Tata, hey, so, yeah, it's true. We're doing all right, man. The goal is 10,000 by Christmas. If we can do that, we're gonna do a, a big t-shirt giveaway, or at least gonna try to, at least. to play mobile back to the future toy oh the playmobile back to the future toy hey right on that's awesome when are you going carp fishing again you know i still have a carp fishing video that i haven't put out they're not doing great on views not a lot of people are watching them it must be getting boring people must be bored of me catching carp evidently <laughs> Hopefully that your wedding goes well for you. I'm assuming so. I mean, my fiance and I are, are pretty much married all but legally at the moment. We've been together for nearly eight years, so. We have been dating for eight years. I, I mean, we're pretty much married. <laughs> we got a fish. You recommend your channel to the buy. Hey, thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate it, man. Where's your favorite place to fish? Um, I don't know. Hey, we got a tiger muskie. That's different. Um, at the moment, I, I'm enjoying St. Croix. Um, I wasn't enjoying it, but once I got these, these two rods here and this bigger rod, I've been enjoying it. Otherwise, I mean, for the longest time, my go-to was the Everglades. I really enjoyed the Everglades. But I mean, I've been fishing for an in-game two hours and 26 minutes, and uh, I've caught 215 pounds of pike, which pay as good, if not better, than largemouth bass. So, not bad, man. Not bad at all. It's a quick way to make some moolah, that's for sure. Also caught a unique tiger trout today. Ooh. You you do sound pretty lucky there, Riley. You sound better prepared than me anyway. Is it gonna put a casting spoon on a value spin rod? Man, the casting spoons, they go so far. I mean they they really do. You can use a casting spoon longer than any other lure out there, I feel. In fact, I mean, it's just it's just one of those like basic lures where if you're having trouble with some of your fancier lures like spinner baits and stuff, just go back to a casting spoon. Give it a try. 
give it a go, you know? This dude's dragging us out. Got me anchored, bro. Can't believe I'm chatting to you. Jacob Garza. Silly, bro. Every stream, man, you can chat. Chat all you want. Trophy Northern Pike, 18.45. What I like to see. What I like to see. We're at uh, 234 right now. 30 pounds to go to max out our uh, live well here. <laughs> this music is slapping right now. <laughs> it's slapping a good thing or a bad thing? I don't even know, man. <laughs> It is kind of weird. Tragic is a weirdo. Wait, how did you make your music go quiet when you talk? Um, I think I can't remember what it's called. It's a um, specific. Let me look it up. Um, it's called a compressor evidently. I thought it was called a noise gate, but I think that might be for my microphone um, but Yeah, basically anytime I chat it turns the music down that way you can hear me a little bit better and then the music gets louder when I'm done chatting Cohen Markle, how long is this stream? The frequently asked question of the night. I don't know. You can't ask me how long the streams are going to be on the unplanned stream night because they're unplanned. I don't know how long they're going to be. God, why did I do that? Fish was taking it, so I was... That's stupid. How would you share your fish if you're on Xbox? Take a picture with your phone and upload it to Discord via your phone. I'm your pal. You are my pal, Jacob Garza. Walleye, bass, pike, sturgeon, grind. Good way to put it. Oh, it's moving again. I see you, Bobber Rod. I see you moving. <laughs> Eli hates to say, but he's going to get some sleep. 1045 is too late for Eli. On a Friday. On a Friday. Hey, that's fine, man. Take care. Look at this. It's so royal. It's anchored me at 16 feet. Where's, where's Matt at? Say, it's doing the music of your people. Mouth bait again. Oh. Uh, why? Need to buy some shiners. Next time we leave, we're gonna have to buy a bunch of shiners. These minnows are kind of expensive. The golem lure is the is the best for musky. Well, once we catch the big musky, we'll have to try it out, I guess. <laughs> Level 20 player wondering what I should be working on to level up, get cash the fastest. If you're level 20, um, you can either grind uh, smallmouth and largemouth for money on the heron. That's a cheaper option anyway. It's 3,000. Is it 3,000 or 3,500 dollars to go to the heron? One of them. One of them anyway. 
Um, and you can get a lot of money just from the smallmouth and largemouth. Um, if you've got some money saved up already, you can spend 7,000 and go to Everglades and uh, chase after peacock bass, which give a lot of experience and money. But at the same time, if you get hooked on something bigger, like a gar or uh, a largemouth, um, if you hook a unique largemouth and you're not prepared for it, it will just take you out and break your line. Um, so you can't really use a buzzbait or a frog because um, those uniques will come and grab it. Something to watch out for anyway. Number two around the whole lake. I mean, that would be kind of cool to do it on a, on a kayak, I would say. Thanks for the tip, of course. That's what I'm here for, bro. All right, finished up our day here. Top notch. Um, looks like we should go ahead and go straight to 7 a.m. tomorrow. 7 a.m. the next day. Tristan Jack, almost 8K. I know, right? It's crazy. We're making our way there, bro. St. Croix Pilgrim 2. Enjoy exploring St. Croix Lake and its premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge. We got one marker buoy. And $29,000. What? I'm at Lone Star casting and not getting any fish. Um, what are what are you casting, Colton? A casting spoon? Here's the thing. If you're not catching fish, so something's wrong. It could be the weather. It could be uh, the location where you're throwing. It could be the color of the lure you're using. Um, there's a ton of things that you could try. Trophy Northern Pike, first fish of the day. Of the new day, I should say. Just caught a three and a half pounder on a light pole. Fight! <laughs> If you don't keep the fish, do you still get the money? No, you don't. But you do get the experience. So if you're just chasing after experience, then that's when it's good to go after, um, you know, gar, catfish, stuff like that, because they don't really give you a lot of money, but they do give you a lot of experience. So if you do want to catch some big fish, they're great for experience, just not for making money, efficiently anyway. using a gold casting spoon okay um what does the uh weather what does the weather say it is colton Easy hobby, you're nice. I try to be nice. Jeremiah Fishing and Gaming, how's it going? Oh no, we got a fish on both poles right now. 
Oh, we're freaking trucking this dude right now. This, almost, this uh, sounds like a good Call of the Wild song right here. I'm gonna have to write this down. So difficult to find songs that would sound good while playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. <laughs> Uh, we're out of freaking moolah again. <laughs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Sixty-nine degrees. Yeah, but what is the weather? Does it say it's cloudy or is it sunny? What does it say? Riley Junker, hello. to fish for a second. Okay. Go way far. Such a short rod has such a short casting distance. <laughs> Unlocked Russia today at level 46. Well, right on, man. How do you get money fast on Lone Star? Fishing for the spotted bass with uh, casting spoons. decent fish do I play deer hunter reloaded no I don't I think I did when it like first came out right it's the mobile game right I think I remember playing it when it first came out in college but I don't I haven't played it it's a cloud covering the Sun okay so it's it's partly cloudy um Okay. So yeah, I mean, silvers and golds would work fine, I guess, for those um, days. Gold would probably work better, so it's you're already using the gold, it sounds like. Um, what is that, a number two hook that you're using there, Colden? Honestly, at that point, uh, just switch between trying to do a stop and go and uh, trying um, twitching. You could try twitching it. Um, just try different retrieval methods and see what they're going for, man. <laughs> it's on Xbox. Deer Hunter Reloaded. And I'm just not thinking about what that game is, I guess. Either got a musky or we got another unique pike here. It is pulling us out. Not where I caught an 11 pound channel cat. That's awesome, Jeremiah. 
You are so nice. You are so nice. <laughs> you got a stuffed deer? Well, that's awesome, dude. No. Appreciate you guys being here. This is really fun. This guy is just freaking going to town. Goodness gracious. Got 393 feet to play with, so I guess we're doing okay. Stuff to your plush? It's awesome, dude. Cowboy, how's the fishing? Well, we got a big fish on right now. I'm not sure what it is. But, um... But yeah, other than that, we were we were kind of dealing with some cruddy weather, a uh, cruddy couple of days for a while, but we finally got back into the good days again, and we're doing okay. 12-point deer plush, right on. How you caught Mad-Eye Buffalo? I haven't caught the Mad-Eye Buffalo. I'm saving all the monster fish for Halloween time. Saving all the monsters for, uh, for when the monsters come out, you know. So the month of October will be filled with videos of me catching the monster fish and fishing planet. Something to look forward to. Best way to make money at level 20. Uh, Neheron or play it risky on uh, Everglades. You might get broken lines at Everglades or you can uh, spend Less money going to Naharan and catching smallmouth and largemouth there. Oof, what do we get? It's another unique. All right. $4,159 on this guy. Oh my goodness gracious. That's awesome. Definitely a good sized pike there. What do you think there, Heenil? Oh, yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's awesome. What are you doing out of the water? What are you doing here? Just stop to say hello. Hi. I hear you there. Fires here in California are brutal with the smoke. Oh, I understand, dude. Um, I wasn't, obviously, I haven't been there to see these fires, but uh, last time I was in California, it was, the smoke was receding. You know, it wasn't as smoky. Um, but my when my fiance was there, she was wearing, you know, the masks to... Uh, for, for help with the smoke, obviously. Being up in Mountain View and still getting some of that smoke there. But yeah, it sucks for sure. What's your favorite weather for Pike? My favorite weather in general is uh, cloudy days because you get to use those brighter lures. Um, and I like using brighter lures. When I would fish in the heron, my favorite lure was the purple worm. And, uh, using it on cloudy days was, like, the best ever. Our minnow's trying to outrun something here. It makes noise. It makes noise. Do you think they should add swordfish or rockfish or grouper? I think a lot of fish or a lot of people want them to add offshore fishing to this game. So, uh, so yes. I think people would really enjoy that, Colton. Do I think they'll add it? Uh, not for a while. I think they're going to add one more map to uh, South America. Because there's some pretty big... Uh, South American fish that they still haven't added to Fishing Planet. So I think they're going to add one more area for South America. 
um, and then and then they'll move on to somewhere else, whether that be offshore fishing or Africa. Uh, I don't know, you know. Coming season, my birthday, and now you're gonna catch the monsters in October. Oof. Exactly, man. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a unique. I was thinking it too. Other that or or musky. Sometimes those musky will get on there and and you think that it's gonna be unique the entire time and then a musky ruins everything. Yeah, we're fishing for pike and musky at the moment. Australia would be a cool map in your opinion. San Antonio, Texas, right on. Ten miles from your town right now. Goodness gracious. All right, man. Well, stay safe, bro. We'll uh, we'll check we'll check in with you next time. And I'm just having issues with this. And the house was on fire. Little bit a little bit different than the California fires. But uh yeah, both fires I suppose. Remember the Alamo. Do you remember the Alamo? Do you remember the Alamo? You, sir, do you remember the Alamo? Fish on, my friend. That's right. Take care, bro. Another one. Another one. Rod, just driving me crazy, man. I'm just getting snagged and stuff. Not even caught a fish yet, bro. I don't, I don't know how to help. Are you, are you, are you getting the stop and go down? What do you do when you're using a bait caster and the line breaks over and over? Uh, is your drag too high? Have you tried lowering the drag? You're going up, down, up, down. We got two fish now. Monks MC, love your vids, keep it up. Hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. No, your your drag is not too high. Uh, and I don't know, man. I mean, it shouldn't just break over and over again. Are the fish you're going for bigger than what you're using?
Nice. You should have two vids. Should have two vids. On... On what, Jeremiah? You should try to catch catfish. You know, not too long ago, we caught a catfish. We uh, went over to the dock and caught a blue cat. Um, not other than experience, they're really not worth very much money. So we went back to catching pike to make some moolah. Missed it. Yeah, bro. We can go get another one, though. How to catch any fish? Well, that's what my whole beginner series is, Jeremiah. The entire beginner series is me understanding how to play the game for the first time. Um, it's really... It's... It's the best thing I could do to uh, to make it easy for you to understand. That's fine. Just if you haven't watched the beginner series, Jeremiah, I'd recommend that. Because uh, it's hilarious for one thing. And the second thing is that you're, you know, you're learning everything that I learned, you know, while I was learning it, basically. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this game has a lot to it, so you really just need to, I would fish for two hours and then I would compile it into a 20 minute video or a 30 minute video. So I'm saving you an hour and a half basically with every video that I put out in the beginner series. If you could, would you add fly fishing to this game? Sure. Why not? It's fishing planet, man. Should have all sorts of fishing in it. Do you like football, BZ Hub? Of course I like football. I don't really watch football. I played football, though. You saw the stream pop up and it looked cool? Right on, bro. I appreciate it. But yeah, I mean, if you're new to the game, check out the beginner series. Because, uh, it is, it's enlightening. For sure. Tip on catching northern. Um, uh, I I use spinner baits for a while. You could also use casting spoons. Casting spoons will also work for northern northern pike. Um, jerk baits work too. I've just been doing. Of course, I'm not catching any now, so I can't really say much. But I was doing for the for a, a good while just this twitching thing where I just. I reel it in and I twitch while I do it. And uh, and I was catching quite a few pike just doing that. But uh, I don't seem to be catching them anymore. Going against the Spartans, ooh. So I was just doing a, a twitching method like this. I have to keep, I'm using a really heavy lure and this reel isn't, isn't reeling it in fast enough. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You could also do a stop and go. I just can't do it on this reel. The retrieves too, too low. Dak force one. How's it going? I would totally recommend it. Yeah, it looks like fun. I kind of do my own form of fly fishing for uh, channel cat, but with a bobber. <laughs> and chicken liver and I just let it sweep down the stream and then a channel cat will come and grab it and I assume that fly fishing would be a similar experience but with a fly 
Is there a crossplay on this game? There is. Yeah. If you have a friend who's playing on a um, on a PC, make sure that he gets uh, Fishing Planet via the Microsoft Store. And then if you're on Xbox, then you can play crossplay with him. I unfortunately did not get it through the Microsoft Store, so I can't. Tip on finding an albino musk deer. Yes. Uh, hunt in Medved for a month. Spend every single day, a few hours each day, hunting on Medved. And go to different locations, and if you see a musk deer, shoot it. And just keep moving on, and just do that for an entire month. And sooner or later, you will find an albino musk deer. So you still have my view. Oh, thanks, Master Trash. Appreciate it. Ooh. Eli's back for the rest of the stream. Right on. Goodness gracious. Snag after snag. Fishing has slowed down. Can you try to get a trophy salmon? Uh, not this stream. We're not really equipped to fish for anything else, but maybe musky and, um, and fish and pike right now. I'm, I'm specifically here to make money, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not equipped to fish for everything at St. Croix. Um, and I don't really have any interest to fishing for everything at St. Croix because all I want to catch is musky. Um, cause that's how you're going to make a lot of the money. And I'm trying to make money right now because I need to get $150,000. That way I can uh, buy the next size up fish keeper, even though I already have it. I need to buy it instead of just getting it from a DLC. <laughs> What lake are you at? We're at St. Croix right now. Have you ever fly fish? No, not really. Living in Kansas, we really don't have much to fly fish for. Do you have a bass boat? I do have a bass boat. Fishing Planet gave me the bass boat DLC to uh, make a review on it. So, we got that one. What is the best fish to catch for a beginner? Depends on how much of a beginner you are, I suppose. If you're making your way up... Um... Yeah, just... I honestly don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Just work your way up. Lone Star, Mudwater. Um, Lone Star, Mudwater, over to Emerald Lake. Emerald Lake to Naharan. Naharan to Everglades. Everglades to wherever. You have a kayak so you can fish in it? No, I don't have a kayak. You know, I've honestly, I don't enjoy fishing from kayaks. I hate being so close to the water. It, it's weird. It's weird fishing from there. <laughs> Jeremiah Fishing Gaming, can you give a tip on how to start a YouTube channel? Uh, make, make one video and then realize that you're going to have to do that for every day of the week to even get your channel started. Um... Yeah. If you don't have the time to 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 make three videos or four videos a week, then there's no reason to start a YouTube channel. I didn't start a YouTube channel till I was 24 years old. So there's there's no rush, you know. Zaggy 
started what three years ago and he's like 31 years old so he started when he was 28 or something like that and look at him now <laughs> you know he's doing he's doing great hey take care colton have fun at your game tomorrow Yep, walleye are amazing. Do you play Roblox? I don't play Roblox. My brother used to play Roblox though. He liked that game. Monks is level nine. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, start saving up money and uh, when you can go to Emerald Lake, work towards that. It's not a super big one, but it's decent. Um, I'm assuming it, it can be repaired. I mean, pretty much everything in this game can be repaired. What are you going for now? A uh, catfish for fun. Hi, Riley Junker. <laughs> Is it worth it to go to Emerald Lake? Uh, yes. Just be prepared to, to catch the fish. Um, get a narrow spoon. A purple narrow spoon is a good one. Here we go. Got a little blue cat. A little 20 pound blue cat. Having a sleepover and going fishing tomorrow. Hey, right on. Sounds awesome. Minecraft. Yeah, I play I play Minecraft every once in a while. Very rarely these days, but used to play Minecraft quite a bit. I remember when Minecraft first came out. You had to buy it from the website. It's the only way to get Minecraft. Stronghorn Antelope, how's it going? They're not going for this. Basically, rainbow trout. They need to add Mekong giant Asian catfish. That would be cool. I think they need to add tiger fish. Need to get need to get a, a good sized tiger fish. That'd be fun. Oh, we got two. We got two on now. It's almost 11.30 and you are still live. That's right. Uh, I already have, monks. I have a, uh, a fishing video of me fishing at Emerald Lake in the beginner series. Pretty much if you want to see anything that I talk about, go look in the beginner series and find the video for it. And just watch it. And we are muscling this fish right now. Come on, you stupid fish. What's up, knighted? Come on, man.
We need sharks. We need sharks. I think they should add blue sharks, or not blue sharks, bull, bull sharks to a blue crab. Sorry, got the two words mixed up. I'm gonna fight this fish for a little bit. Just to make sure it's still hooked. That ringing sound is nice, eh? Master Trash is back. Do you need a bottom fishing rod to fish on the bottom? I mean, technically, no. You could r retrieve a lure along the bottom. Come on, you fish. We got you. You're 12, 10. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. First trophy of the day. There we go. Goodness gracious. Caught 70 white bass wiper in four days. Nice, that's a lot. You must have found a good school. Almost closed down, so I didn't get to. Gosh darn. should watch camping with brothers gone wrong what are you are you trying to get people to go away from my channel to watch some other person cheese 911 what are you what are you doing man who, who do you think is putting on the show right now it's all about me baby come on <laughs> i'm kidding rough. Colorado has some good fishing. I agree. Are you going to play the Hunter Call of the Wild in Africa? Yeah, we play. I mean, we I fish there all the time. It's my favorite place. You're hunting me down for that sticker. But you mean you mean this sticker? You mean, you mean that sticker? Huh? Why, why would you ever want a cool BZ Hub sticker like that? Huh? Why, why would anyone ever want a cool sticker like that? Little stocking stuffer. Little stocking stuffer BZ Hub sticker. <laughs> Alright, that's enough blue catfish, I think. We got some blues. It was fun. We did the work. Oh, we're in a slump right now. We need to go back to, uh, let's go to 6, 6 p.m. Switch the time to 6 p.m. Oh, we have eight minutes. Are you kidding me? Uh. San, San Juan River. Wow. That sounds nice. Oop. Hit a button. How do you, how do you get mod? What do, what do you mean, monks? I don't understand what you're asking. You were looking out of your mom's car when you were shopping. <laughs> having fun watching hey well i appreciate it jacob i appreciate you watching man means a lot means a lot to me moderator oh well you know just spend a ton of time watching and then just be like a perfect human being like squish flint <laughs> Caden Harris, how's it going? Like to go to Montana? Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. K 
Caden Harris, how am I? I'm doing quite well. Thank you, thank you. Ricards, how's it going? Folden Holiday. Cole Starkey's here. Greetings, Sir Bo. Just wanted to stop by and say hi before I go back to bed. Or go to bed. Going to try and hunt some ducks in the morning in Venice. Well, good luck there, Cole Starkey. <laughs> Ricards is here. How can you be a moderator? Yep. Yeah, um, just watch me. Make sure that you come to pretty much every single stream for like half a year or so. And then just be a great community member and be awesome. Be an awesome person. And uh, you run a decent chance of becoming a moderator. Because if you, it, I mean, that's a big thing. If you don't come to every stream, then I can't depend on you to to be a moderator, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, it's okay. I don't I don't expect you to. Usually, it I mean, it's a very rare thing for me to make anyone that I don't know personally a moderator. So, you know, it's it's. I mean, it would be difficult. <laughs> Palomino for a while, a long time. I missed a few, never got one on the bank. Ha ha. Monks MC, I love your vids so much. Monks, thank you. Appreciate it. I've been trying to catch a pal, I read that. I'll try. First live stream with you, Jacob Garza. I'm glad you were able to make it, man. When does the stream end? I don't know. Uh, how, about, how about midnight? Midnight central time. 12 o'clock central US time. Day, Monday is my birthday. I'd love if I could play with you sometime, Sunday or Monday. Hey man. Monday, we could have a, uh, a community call the wild stream. I don't know. What games do you play, Caden? Are you on PC? <laughs> what state do you live in? I live in Kansas, man. The great state of Kansas. The sunflower state. The state of bison. So many, so many f fine names. Whoa! Goodness gracious. Anchored us from the start. Yeah, it's school. Understandable, Jacob. Well, school is more important than me, so don't worry about that. You swear your stream seemed to be for you at midnight. <laughs> Latvia. Seven in the morning? Well, good morning, regards. Go make some breakfast. In your books, you're more important than school. Well, don't do that. I'm way less important than school. When you look back on life and you're and, and you're working the job of your dreams, you're going to thank school, not your pal Bo from BZ Hub. <laughs> What is your fishing plan and name? Shockingly, my fishing plan and name and my Call of the Wild name are both BZ Hub. I know it, it comes as a shocker to most people when they find out that my name is BZ Hub. But, uh, you know, I try to make it difficult for people. <sighs> Can we see your puppy? He's, he's sleeping right now, unfortunately. I don't want to wake him up. I feel bad.
Bo, do you still do photography? You know, I mean, I kind of do, but uh, I don't know. Most of the time my camera is up here on me, which is why all of the all of the videos look so clear, or they should anyway, is because I have my nice camera hooked up to my computer so that you can see me. Um, and then, yeah, I don't really go out and look for animals much anymore. I mostly just go out and go fishing or something. But you tell your friends to subscribe. Hey, well, awesome, Jacob. My mom's life still alive. Yes, yes. screwed by the times and streams, but your channel is special. That's why I watch you. Oh, thanks, me, Miss Dorian. Appreciate it. That I thought you were more important than my school and helped your channel grow. <laughs> well, thank you, Smash Trash. Appreciate it. Dane Robinson Bo, remember the guy who was going to Afghanistan? Yes, I do. And I edited that point of the video out so that you didn't get in trouble. <laughs> how are how are you? Whoa. That's some drag right there. Can we play? Hey, I have community hunts and I have community fishing. I have community fishing every Wednesday and we have community hunts on Call of the Wild every other Monday. So, Not a big, I mean, I'm I'm open, man. Not there. It's in Europe. Yeah, I know. stressed out it's so relaxing yeah you're back well how did it go you play on Xbox well dang it and play was hitting the leg no way. You were shot in the leg? Dude, that's crazy. Are you feeling okay? Goodness gracious, I'm like taken aback right now. Can you join if it's on Steam? Yes, indeed, Casper. How do you know? Because I've heard of it before, man. I look at a map every once in a while. I remember specifically one moose photo. Sadly, he committed suicide after being diagnosed with something I can't remember in years. My goodness gracious. Taking pics of animals in Poland. That's crazy. My goodness gracious. Well, I'm sorry about your grandfather, your uncle, your grand uncle, not father. But yeah. Sounds like a cool dude, though. It's the best channel for a zillion of years. My goodness gracious. Jacob Garza, if I could have a million people like you, it would be fantastic. <laughs> Oh, this music is calming. That's usually my goal. Oh, it was, it was a fragment. Okay, not bullets. Okay. Well, Zane, I'm glad you're okay. It sounds like anyway. I hope, I hope anyway. But, uh, but yeah. Sounds like those fragments were not in one piece, but hopefully you are in one piece. I'm gonna go and watch some of your other vids. 
Wow, you're gonna stop watching me to watch me play something else in a video? Gosh. <laughs> that's okay. I suppose that's a pretty good... Pretty good... Switch, you know. Trade. I mean, uh, uh, what's your biggest fish besides the tarpon? Uh, let's find out. It is a unique Chinook salmon weighing 68.815 pounds. Looks like this. Not too shabby. <sighs> Your mom immigrated from Poland, I must say. It's beautiful. Sounds like it. One of my favorite weightlifters was from Poland. Marius Puzinowski. I, I thought he was sick. Because I was kind of shorter at 5'8", and Marius was... he Out of all the strong men, I mean, he was 6'2", but he was still pretty short. In comparison to all the other strong men. So I liked him the best. And he was good. He was good. I think he won like six World Strongest Mans. Strong dude. You are kind, Jacob. Where you are hiding, I just playing, but I'm keep looking out. <laughs> right on. Right on, bro. There's a lot and we'll watch them. Oh <sighs> I'm starting to yawn. Casper Becker, you watch them all? Well thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You didn't see the ID. Stepped you stepped on it? Oh no, Zane. Well. So 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 what so what happened, Zane? And you are your pal? Of course I'm your pal, Jacob. You stepped on it, man. That's crazy. I need to hear more. I'm like, I'm figuratively on the edge of my seat. Physically, I'm, I'm, I'm like slouched back, but I want, I want to know more, Zane. Well, I'd say so, Zane. I'm glad to hear that, because that's what I kept thinking, because I literally just said that you were in one piece. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy, but how is the leg? Are you doing a lot of physical therapy or something? Poland has the most strongest man winners. Ah. Ah. Fortnite Mutant Clan, hello. Riley Junker, love everything you do. Keep it up. Hey, thank you so much, Riley. Easy hub rules. What are some good beginner fishing things? I really need to make a video about this. Um, honestly, my best thing I can say is watch my beginner series and um and use it to realize what level you are at in the game and what you could be working on um you know am i doing missions at lone star have i moved to another area now am i in uh mud water now fishing for for pickerel or something like that um what level am i when i'm doing that uh when i moved to emerald lake and what i was using in emerald lake i mean the beginner series is really just it's filled with stuff like that, and you can use it as kind of a roadmap to go through. Um, Mutant Clan. It's pretty good now. Once a week physiotherapy. While I was there, gotten in four fire fights. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. Well, Zane Robinson, you are you are one cool dude, man. You are cooler than me, and I'm glad I'm glad you're all safe now. That is that is crazy. Is it 
it just me or is it hard to agree with what you're trying to explain but you're not cooler than you are cooler than me Zane <laughs> and if you ever come to the United States you can stay one day in Kansas City and we'll go out and we'll get the best barbecue in the world and then then you can leave Kansas because <laughs> there's really not much else to do here you come for the barbecue and then you can go Yeah, so help me it's so much I am actually higher level than you thanks for the tips and that's you know that's honestly not a shocker you know when you think about me playing fishing planet I make a video for everything that I do pretty much I mean right now I'm grinding for money and I'm, I'm just streaming it because otherwise I would be doing it alone <laughs> and I thought it would be more fun to chat with people while I do it um, but yeah but yeah, because of that, it's pretty slow. I, I never go to a new map without making a video about it. Um, so there's a lot of places I haven't been simply because I the stars have to align for me to feel like making a video about it, basically. Zane Robinson needs to go, hey, for an appointment. Okay. Well, take care, man. It was good to hear from you, and I'm glad you're okay. Take care, bro. All right, I think we need to move. I think we need to move spots. This is this spot is kind of dying. It's dying on us. It's dying on us. Discord, remember I live in St. Joe, Missouri. Ah, okay. All right. Catch some fish. I definitely will. <laughs> what is the craziest thing that happened to you when you were at school? <laughs> um, man, I don't know. I was pretty boring in high school and middle school and stuff. I didn't really do much. I mean, I did a lot of school stuff, but none of that was crazy. You know? It was pretty normal stuff. I, I would say the craziest thing that happened during my time in that age was going to this function called boys state where like boys leaving their junior year of high school and going into their senior year of high school from all over the state all meet up for this one camp and then have this like mock government camp thing and it was it was it was crazy it was insane Stabbing that happened on the other campus of area, which been the first in years, and for me personally, busting a four hundred dollar machine. Well, hello there. That is pretty crazy, man. Wasn't that a TV show? Uh, I think it's actually a movie coming out. But I, I would be very, I would be very surprised if that boy state is crazier than the boy state I went to. Um. Because our boys' state was crazy. It was insane. Um, at the very end, the just to give you a tidbit, and, and if you ever watch the movie Boys' State or whenever that is coming out soon, and you watch it, just realize that what I'm telling you right now is what happened when I was at Boys' State and realize how much crazier it is than that video you're going to watch at the end of our boys state there were highway patrolmen who were kids driving around campus vehicles from the college that we were staying at 
they were running around and the government had passed a law that anyone who got stabbed with a newspaper sword like they made swords out of newspaper and if you got stabbed by it then you were dead and you couldn't play the game anymore and so everyone was carrying around newspaper swords because no one wanted to die basically and our town decided that we would create a uh, a spartan super soldier program in defense against every other town so pretty much all of our money and all of the people in the town worked for the spartan soldier program from halo basically in defense against other cities and uh we tried to build a nuke at one point um we had all of the sport athletes in our group and so we absolutely dominated in all sports and at the very end we were so poor that we were in last place and then someone in our city stole the bank codes from the head counselor of the entire boys state and we stole all of the money from every single city and put it in our bank account so at the end of boys state we had all the money and no one else had money it was the craziest boys state ever and i sincerely doubt that any other boys state will be any crazier i swear to god Mythical player, how's it going? You caught me in the middle of my my story. <laughs> just tell you what to do. Um Man, just set your pins at a specific set your pins at a at um somewhere near the middle basically. It depends on how many pins you have. The more pins you have, honestly, the more annoying I find it. Um my bow shoots like six inches i i don't even say six inches four inches of dif difference from like 20 yards to like 35 yards so unless you're shooting 35 yards plus which is is possible um you don't you don't need more than like three pins honestly uh if my bow had a had a single pin i think i would be probably just fine um, but yeah, just figure out one pin and then just go from there Move the next one down or just stack it stack all of your pins like right next to each other and Then you can move them a bit by bit But figure out your like figure out your top pin first and then move down from there basically I'll just text you in Discord. Sounds good. I'm gonna try public land tomorrow. Hey, sounds good. Are spinners worth it? Uh, the nano spinners are worth it for uh, for trout, for sure. Though the trout don't really pay you very much money. Stay up, lure. Kendra Bergen hours. See, I watched all of the Camp Cretaceous episodes today as well. So I just I just cruised through it. But yeah, I thought it was pretty good as well. I was happy about it. I wasn't sure how it would be until I read an article about them uh like in the initial interview with uh Steven Spielberg, he said that he didn't want it to be a kids show and that it had to feel like a Jurassic World like movie basically like it had to fit in it had to be scary and people had to die and i was like okay well i'm kind of excited for this now <laughs> and it was good i i liked it but the hunt will keep going we're right on man the hunt will keep going
on four drives, including, I think, Coke in the first period and ran out of the classroom screaming. Sadly, I was absent on that day. Oh, my. You like George Strait? Uh, no. I don't really like country music, so I don't really listen to it. What are you fishing for? Well, I mean, we were fishing for pike for the longest time, but uh, it got kind of slow, so we decided to move to a different spot. And my rod doesn't really, or my reel, I should say, has a very low retrieve, and so it doesn't do a good job of keeping the lure up. So... But yeah, pretty much just wandering about throwing a lure at the moment. Hmm, interesting. Please bro what, Casper? Decide to experience it yourself. Nice. gang members in your school guy you I think we can change the time now though I feel a little silly changing the time even though we only need 30 more pounds of fish Maybe we should change it to nighttime. Loving your channel, VZA. I also love Fishing Planet. Well, Mythical Player, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. What's the biggest fish you got? We got a big tarpon, man. Big tarpon, 119 pounds, but honestly, uh, uh, that was because of a DLC, so uh, realistically, my biggest fish is a 68-pound Chinook salmon. Let's see how the fish like it at nighttime. Jano Dibinar, how are you? Is it Yano? Yano Dibinar. Just throwing, throwing different things out there now. Well, this is a very upbeat song. No one remind Bo that the stream ends in five minutes. Mm. I might go check up on Zachary and then, um, I don't know, fill up my water or something like that. Maybe we'll just take take a small break. A little intermission, if you will.
Watch the whole thing in like three days. Hey, we're well, right on, man. Appreciate it. I'm glad you liked it. Jackson Boshares. Is it Boshear? Boshares? It's kind of a fun name to say, Boshares. But okay, got to go. Hey, take care, man. Have a good one. Oh, I know, right? 30 pounds away, and now I gotta figure out what I, what I should do. Jeremiah, see you later, man. Yeah. Well, he was chatting to us on the stream the other day, and he was saying how he liked fishing in real life, but he wasn't very far in this game. So, doesn't surprise me. He's honestly probably tired of playing the Hunter Call of the Wild as well. To be honest. How do you level up so fast? Well... Knowing a little bit about the game helps, but also having premium will allow you to level up faster, too, so. Got a little 15-pound trophy here, maybe. Yeah, I see you. Sounds good, Jeremiah. Take care, man. About to go watch the beginning of the series when the stream ends. Yeah. I think we probably will descend at midnight. That sounds like a good 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 number and we'll probably hopefully get our keep net filled up. Maybe we'll just end it whenever we fill up our keep net. Ooh, 18 pounds there. Oh, we ran out of bait with one fish to go. Are you kidding me? Never tired of the Hunter Call of the Wild. <sighs> yeah. Come on, Bobber Rod. Catch fish. Everyone's waiting on you. Started playing classic. Yeah. See, and I'm the guy who's played Classic for forever, so Classic isn't fun to me either, so. <laughs> so here I am, playing Fishing Planet. <laughs> mm, not, not right now, anyway. Your internet's gone? I gotcha. We're missing one fish. One fish. One fish. fish. Questing? No, nah, just to oh, fill cool. up the keep net. A pounds. It's a lot of pounds. Sorry if you swear too much. Did you? When did you swear? <laughs> Do you like fishing in real life? Just want to know because I just subbed. Absolutely. Did you see our, our fishing videos? We got fishing videos too, man. Go watch the fishing video. Go watch the fishing videos. Got me a million. Go watch the BZ Hub shorts. They're pretty funny. 
come, you biggin. Biggin. Zachary did just catch him some pretty decent fish. What was the most cringiest video ever? I don't know. What do you think, Zachary? What's the most cringiest video ever? The very first video you ever posted. First video I ever posted, says Zachary. Not true. You guys should go watch that video, though. Britton put so much time into that first video. Oh. It's arts. I do know what you're talking about. It's my, uh... I made, like, a beginner's, beginner's series guide or something like that. Yeah. Not a beginner tips. series. Yeah, it was, like, a beginner tips video and i spent so much time on it and it was it's it's it, kind of a crappy video but i thought it was cool at the time it was kind of the start to the channel mm -hmm. i think without that like never would have kicked off yeah jacob says hi zachary hello jacob i will watch the fishing vids after the stream hey sounds good i tell you what everyone um i don't think we're ever gonna get a fish on this bobber rod Bulaga. Bologna. He just had one. Oh, then it was a snack. Um, I mean, we can take it off and put it on the bottom rod, I guess, since that's the one we actually caught a fish on. And uh, wait a little bit on this one. You're going to go to bed? See, that's what I was going to do. I was, I'm one fish away from going to bed. Good night, Good night Zachary. every one of your chats well don't do that meme historian <laughs> 45 minutes of real time <laughs> that's awesome good fish though what time is it where you are it is 1204 in the morning at the moment You can't tell because I have this super bright light on me. This is how dark it really is. And when when the Halloween time comes around, do do something spooky. Ooh, spooky. You do orange light, spooky orange light, deep pink, electric lime, red, back to blue, purple, purple light, spooky. BZ is ready for Halloween. I'm not ready. I was hoping to have a different costume for every video is what I was hoping for. But, um, never really got to it. That's really spooky. Ooh. I'll turn the light back on. Oh, gosh. That's seizure inducing. Nah. This is uh this is taking a while, everyone. I think we're just gonna reel this guy in and uh, and call that the end of the stream anyway. But uh yeah. I think that's gonna do it. Oh we got new friends. Let's see. We'll move to 5 a.m. A sweet $29,000. And we're good to go. That'll be great. A good way to start out tomorrow. Anywho, that's going to do it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Made some friends. Got some subs. That was awesome. Do you have a BZ Hub Instagram? Absolutely. 
bzhub underscore gaming on Instagram. Check it out. Videos of Bjorn, pictures of fish, pictures of other things. I, I enjoy Instagram a lot. So that's usually where I'll post stuff, if anything. So I like taking pictures. A good one. Stay safe. Just have fun. You have a good one, man. All nighter. <laughs> Take care, Kendra. Make sure to watch every video. Mythical player. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Road to 8K. And then we'll go road to 10K. Just keep on going. Keep on trucking along. Anywho. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will see you next time. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family, game.